It'll be uh, posted tomorrow. So uh, we'll have that recorded. So again, um, my name is Ed John. I'm the uh, interim principal at Robert Frost. Uh, it's a little bit of a challenge following Leslie Roach. She is amazing, but uh, she's been a great resource and uh, helping me as we uh, get rolling, get started. So I have a, a few things I just want to kind of share with you, make sure everyone's up to date, and then we'll have time for any questions uh, at the end. And if I don't know the answer, I'll, I'll um, find out and um, get it out in some sort of a communication through Parent Square to you. So device uh, checkout uh, day is um, Wednesday the second, next Wednesday. Can you believe it's uh, here already? So from noon to 6 p.m. So we kind of spread it out a longer period of time. And so not everyone's coming at once. And we're gonna have all the teachers uh, stationed throughout that uh, our long kind of uh, turn through um, driveway. And so as parents come through the driveway part, if they see their uh, third grade uh, uh, teacher there and they can kind of pull over closer to the curb, the child can get out, go say hi to the teacher. We're asking everyone to keep a mask on um, and receive their Chromebook and anything else that I think that teachers have a little bag of uh, uh, things to share with you, with each student. And then uh, they can um, go down further and there's be a place for uh, uh, dropping off um, uh, the packets, um, any forms that we've sent you that need to drop off. So we're thinking that'd be a good way where the teacher at least be able to see the student and have a little bit of a social distancing um, contact, hand something to them and greet them. So it's kind of a greet and meet. And we're thinking that's during this COVID crisis, probably the best we can do. We're hoping that uh, this end at some point, maybe November 16th, we're in real school, at least uh, in kind of a hybrid model. So um, that's uh, Wednesday from noon to 6 p.m. Um, we'll be picking up the registration packet um, uh, and then we'll be checking out the, um, the devices. And uh, I know you received the school supply list if there are some things that, or if, if there's some families that you know that, hey, this is gonna be a hardship for them to come up with things, uh, just let me know, uh, Elizabeth, the office manager know, or your child's teacher know, and we will uh, get those for you. We don't want anyone to feel like their kids have to go without being uh, prepared to work remotely at home from the uh, kitchen table on assignments. Another day coming up is, uh, Friday the 11th from 3 to 6 p.m. and Saturday the 12th from 10 to noon. And this is kind of our picture day. And we have photographers coming, gonna set up two tents. And he says it's gonna take, take about 10 seconds per student to take a picture. And so it'll be the same kind of thing where we'll uh, have a long driveway and, and somebody will kind of uh, say next in line and, and keep that line moving. But with two photographers, two tents, I think we can move that along pretty quickly. And so um, that's also a day, maybe that's the day we're uh, kind of handing out the, um, uh, the, you know, I'm not sure, are we handing out the goodies that day or on the second? I guess someone will let you know and we'll probably figure it out in the, uh, in the questions. But uh, again, anyone who didn't turn in the paperwork, that'll be a chance to pick those up. Uh, again, a chance to uh, make a connection with the, uh, teachers, uh, because they'll be there, and uh, anyone who didn't uh, pick up their uh, device on the second, they can do it that day. And um, again, if anyone needs any um, school supplies, to let us know. And oh, here it is in my notes. That is a day that uh, the teachers will be handing out a little goodie bag. I think we have a little plastic bag we're giving everyone with some things in it. So that's kind of a little incentive to come for picture day because you get your little goodie bag. Kind of something that I'm looking for is Thursday the 10th is um, looking forward to. On Thursday the 10th, we're going to do a virtual open house. 6 p.m. I'll be uh, online virtually to kind of give a welcome and overview. At that point, we're going to share the schedule with you so you know that you know, third graders are going to be doing these kind of uh, synchronous learning at this time and then some uh, ingenuity push out lessons at this time, fourth graders 
so on, and then fifth graders. So you'll see that schedule. So you see that they're kind of at different times. So if you have a third grader and a fifth grader, they're not uh, both going to be on um, online at the very same time. So we'll be explaining the schedule. Right now, we've sent it to the teachers as kind of a draft. We're getting some input and um, um, make any final tweaks to it before we uh, share it with you then on um, September 10th. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to send out a little kind of a learning coach resource uh, link that'll give you some information on Canvas and uh, Parent Square. At some point, I thought it was going to be today, but I think it's going to be after the teachers have some training on Monday and Tuesday. But um, there'll be an opportunity for parents to actually sign in to Parent Square. Teachers will be able to actually send an email to the parents in their classroom. And they can also opt to send a text to the parents in their classroom. So that's assuming that every parent communicates with their child's teacher about, here's our email, and here's a phone number that uh, you're welcome to text. So uh, that'll be kind of a give and take on both ways, but it'll be neat to have that resource where the teachers can get that kind of direct communication with their whole class at the same time. So we're all having training on uh, Monday on uh, Canvas and Edgenuity and Parent Square. So hopefully Monday or Tuesday we'll, we'll all be ex experts on it. Uh, class lists are going to be posted on the uh, door of the office uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh, also, we're sending you a flyer in the mail that has most of the things that I've talked about. So dates. So don't worry about it if you if you uh, didn't catch which which two days or picture day and that kind of thing. You'll get that flyer in the mail. Um, so with the um, um, virtual town hall meeting on the 10th and then with the uh, device pickup on the 2nd, probably won't do a town hall meeting uh, next Thursday. Um, and um, oh, I mentioned that we're going to share this uh, the class schedule uh, at the open house on the 10th. So those are the things on my agenda. Uh, Tress, uh, I think there's a, a plethora of questions. Why don't you read a few? Um, Elizabeth and I have been answering a few of them. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. um, Jennifer asked if we don't need a Chromebook, should we still plan to stop by? Um, and we kind of said it, that's optional. Um, yeah. If you want to drop off paperwork, you can still do that. Okay. And another, um, Therese asked, when you say dropping off forms, when and where do we pick them up? Um, we covered that those are getting mailed out tomorrow. Um, That's cool. And then will a message about the school picture times, dates come out in Parent Square? Um. I, I know it's on the flyer that's coming uh, tomorrow, but I, I can send out uh, something on uh, Parent Square with um, those days specifically, and maybe some other announcements that you know, my thinking is during these crazy times, uh, we can't over communicate. I hate to have so many things that people say, oh, crazy, uh, another email from the school and I don't need to read it. But uh, I think at this time we have to um, be kind of over the top with communication. So. Short answer is yes, I, I will get that out. Okay. Um, another parent from Evergreen asked if they're doing the Fox online, um, if they pick up a device from Robert Frost, and Elizabeth Main said yes. Um, and they wondered if they have to go to the registration day, and those paperwork is all just getting emailed or mailed for Fox online, so I don't think they need to attend that day, but would they attend our picture day? Um, uh, could yeah, I intervene? Yeah, please, yes, interject? thank you. Uh, yes. So they are invited to attend our picture day as well. Um, they're still um, enrolled at their home school. So whatever their home school was before we, you know, pick them up for Fox Online, that's still their home school. We are sending out a registration um, page of front and back for them to fill out just so we have that information here at Robert Frost. And fingers crossed everything goes back to normal mm -hmm. next year. Um, or 
whatever happens, they're still at their home school. Thanks, Elizabeth. And I think it's really important that they still feel connected to a school. You know, if it gets this um, online school somewhere in the air and they have no real connection, I think it's a real uh, disadvantage for them. So I'm glad that we still have some connection with them. And uh, what I was told also, if there are siblings in other schools and they don't want to make the rounds to different schools for picture days, they're welcome to all come to Robert Frost on that day and have pictures taken. And then the photographer will get it to the right place? Absolutely. Okay, good. Well, that's a, that's a perk. All right, mm -hmm. uh, our next question is, we are signed up for Remind through their homeschool, Evergreen, which does text reminders. Is there something similar that we need to get signed up for with Robert Frost? You know, um, Elizabeth, you know the answer to that. I, I was gonna say no, that we're gonna have uh, uh, everything on, on Edgenuity and Canvas and Parent Square, but um, is there advantage of staying on Remind? I haven't heard anything yet about Remind. I do know that once they're enrolled here at Robert Frost, they're no longer receiving communication from their home school. I don't know if something like that is in the works, so they can receive something from both schools, but the tech department is aware of it. Um, so for now, just Parent Square is where the communications will be going out. From. Okay, that makes sense. Good question, though. All right, our next question is, can you repeat the device pickup day? Sure. So it's actually uh, two. Um, uh, Wednesday, the second, next Wednesday, anywhere, anytime between noon and 6 p.m. And so it's not a, an assigned time for each individual um, parent or even grade level. It's anytime during that time, we think it's gonna go fairly quickly. And then if people are out of town or have other commitments, anyone who doesn't pick them up on that day, uh, we're gonna have them available on that picture day on uh, Friday the 11th and Saturday the 12th. Uh, Friday the 11th is from um, 3 to 6 p.m. and Saturday the 12th is from 10 a.m. to noon. So between those three days um, is when you can pick up the Chromebooks. All right, it looks like we are caught up on the chat right this minute. All right, so you know it's, um, it's a little bit of a crazy time and um, no one likes this. Uh, we felt bad for the seniors at the high school last year that didn't get a real graduation and feeling bad for high school kids that uh, if they get to play athletics, it's gonna be certainly a reduced schedule of some sort. But you know we're in this situation and we're in it together and we're gonna uh, do the best we can so that kids are teaching and learning or kids are learning. You know, last year the distance learning was one thing. I assure you that this year with the comprehensive distance learning and the Edgenuity, and the Edgenuity is a, a program that the, per, the district purchased that is that um, has based on all those uh, core standards and the teachers have an opportunity to uh, supplement some things that they would like to add to it, but it's, um, a great deal more rigor than what we had last year. And so we're going to try to get kids um, caught up a little bit and make sure that they have a successful year this year. And if we get back to in person to some extent on November 12th, that's going to help them as well. But um, we're going to do everything we can to help kids feel like uh, they're having a real educational experience and we're going to try to make it interesting and, and fun. We're going to have some uh, fun activities in there and some PE activities and, and some breaks. But uh, we're going to make this uh, the best it can possibly be. Anything else? Well, I wrote myself a note of a couple of things I need to get out to folks. And again, if you think it's something, um, I'm usually at uh, Silvercrest in the morning, about 7.30 to 11, and then down at Robert Frost uh, at uh, noon to four. And 
Uh, but if you send me an email, I get them wherever I am. Um, and uh, if I don't know the answer, I know somebody who does. And we want to meet everybody's needs. And we want to be as accommodating as we possibly can so that parents feel like hey, my, my son or daughter is going to be in a good situation and we're going to make it work. Anything else? Um, it looks like I don't have any other questions in the chat right now. I don't know if we want to wait a minute and see if anyone has any. No, we can wait a minute. Uh, wait to have people just kind of hang on if if they don't have any questions. But uh, Tris and uh, Elizabeth, you guys did a great job uh, answering questions. Um, Mary, you worked on the uh, master schedule. I'm feeling really pretty good about it, what it looks like. Uh, anything you want to add on that? Uh, on the master schedule, um, we're building yes. in times, times um, that we were hoping to share and get finalized pretty soon so that families kind of know what the day morning is going to look like and afternoon is going to look like and how much time they'll be with their teacher live and how much time we'll be in maybe smaller groups working with students. Um, so I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, one of the neat things that we do have uh, at Robert Foss is we have 14 teachers, you know, the grade level ones. We have four third grade and five fourth grade and five fifth. We also have 14 uh, educational assistants. So one is assigned to each teacher. So that aid assistant could be in Marion's room as she's presenting something and Marion could say, hey, uh, would you pull these three out into a separate little pull out um, work session and spend some time on this math lesson that looks like they're really uh, stuck. So it's going to be a great uh, advantage of having another adult in those sessions and then uh, being able to pull out some groups for some interventions or some additional support. So um, I think the system is set up to uh, for success. All right, um, I've got a couple questions. Sure. Um, so if they're doing Fox online, they wanted to know when they will find out who our teacher will be. Um, I don't know, Elizabeth, are you posting those on the doors as well? Or I don't know, Ed, do you want to announce who Fox online teachers are going to be? Or is that something that we're posting as well on our doors? I will be posting those on the door as well. Thank you. Yes. Boy, isn't it handy to have Elizabeth uh, with me by my side? I've got Elizabeth by my by my side, and I've got uh, Leslie's cell number, so uh, what could go wrong? <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm yeah. blessed to uh, be here and uh, work with the staff. They're amazing. Okay, um, I have another question. It, this individual said they missed the beginning. Um, will the registration forms, dates to drop them off, and picture dates be sent out? Yes. In fact, tomorrow there is a mailing where we're going to start stuffing envelopes for saying tomorrow uh, that will have all of that registration packet in there. Um, so all you have to do is kind of fill that out and drop it off on the uh, second. Uh, the post office folks assured us that if we put it in the mail tomorrow, uh, people will get it at least by Tuesday. All right. So look for those on Tuesday. Um, Laura asked, um, I've missed the previous town halls and came late today. Where can I find the recordings? I have not found them on the district website. I have been working with someone in the tech department to help us get those up on the district YouTube channel. So bear with me, please. And it's uh, not Elizabeth's uh, fault. <laughs> we, we record them and we send them to the district. They say, okay, we've got them. We say, would you post them on the district YouTube so that people can access it? And um, they say it's coming, but uh, you're right. It's not there yet. And, uh, we don't know why. <clears throat> uh, I wouldn't want to be in the tech department with all the changes that they have this year, but I know they're working hard. Uh, I know they've been working hard, especially on getting all the Parent Square things uh, set up so that people have, have that access. but I will follow up with that on tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, 
One more question. Is it possible to post the teacher assignments on Parent Square as well? You know, Elizabeth, I don't see why not if we wait till after four o'clock tomorrow. Do you? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. We can get that done. Okay. Okay. Another thing for my list. Anything else? I see we have a few folks that are leaving the meeting, so I think people are feeling like we've answered a lot of questions. Yeah, I think we're caught up right now. All right. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, everyone's uh, support and patience and grace, but we're going to get through this. Thank you very much.